Title, Ryan Reynolds does it again. Injects cash into Alpine F1 team, because why not? TL, DR. No strangers to the limelight, Deadpool icon Ryan Reynolds and AC Milan owners Redbird Capital Partners are turning their gaze, and their dollars, towards the racetrack. They're now holding stakes in the Alpine Formula One racing team, catapulting the Renault-supported group to a $900 million valuation. Besides being famous for their acting chops, these guys seem to have a knack for sporting investments. Remember the Welsh football club, Wrexham FC? They turned around with a reality TV show. Ready, set, go. Acting sensation Ryan Reynolds, of Deadpool fame, and sitcom co-writer Rob McAllany, known for its always sunny in Philadelphia, are expanding their investment portfolio. This time they're buckling up for a ride with the Alpine Formula One racing team, adding a whole new level of glitz and glamour to the racetrack. Just when you thought these guys were done after propelling a humble Welsh football club, Wrexham FC, into the global spotlight, they're back, taking another shot at the world of sports. What's more, they're bringing along Hollywood heavyweight Michael B. Jordan and the US-based Optro Capital for the ride. They will collectively hold a 24% equity stake, following an investment of a cool 200 million euros. Now that's what we call riding in style. This might be just what the Alpine team needs after its recent rebranding from Renault, aiming to surge back into the lead of the F1 grid and leave behind some less than ideal years. Is the Reynolds MC Elhany formula the secret source they need to regain their former glory? Meanwhile, the Renault Group, under the leadership of Chief Executive Luca De Mio, is also fighting its way back to profitability after some bumpy rides, looking at you, Carlos Gosson. In 2022, Alpine made it to the fourth place in the Constructors World Championship, trailing behind Red Bull, Ferrari, and Mercedes. It's almost like watching a fast and furious movie, just without Vin Diesel. On the other side of the pond, F1 is increasing its popularity in the US, and we've got Netflix's behind-the-scenes series Drive to Survive to thank for that. Can Reynolds and team harness this growing appeal and steer Alpine's profile to new heights? Liberty Media, the owner of F1 since 2017, has imposed spending limits to level the playing field and ensure financial sustainability. What will Reynolds and his team make of this? Can they still turn Alpine into a champion under these circumstances? We're waiting to see. Reynolds isn't just Deadpool, folks. He's a serious businessman, having sold his aviation American gin brand to Diageo for a whopping $610 million back in 2020. With Wrexham FC also flourishing under his leadership, it seems Reynolds knows how to play the game, on and off the screen. Is there a method to this man's madness? Parallel to the F1 news, Renault is pushing its Alpine sports car brand to go electric by 2024. With ambitions to reach 2 billion euros in revenue in 2026 and then rocket to 8 billion euros by 2030.